Hello and welcome to Bees on Main in beautiful downtown Stoughton. I'm Rich Morris, lead drone here at Broodminder, and I'm going to show you how to put together a W3 today. Uh, if you have the W3 with swivel feet, there's another video for that. Uh, this is the one with the fixed feet that look like this. So the first thing you'll want to do is cut your 2x4s and get them the right length and then what you'll see is we've cut grooves for the wires now uh, it just works really well to protect the wires uh, they're almost the same you can cut the groove down the middle on all of them and then there's a couple extra notches that you'll see why in a moment uh, and then we want to take our little parts bag And it can be sort of a booger to open. There it is. Okay. And you'll see a couple of long screws. And what we're going to do is put two long screws in this end and one long screw in this end. So let's start with this one. And we recommend that you pre drill the whole uh, things. So I'm using an eighth inch bit for that. And then we'll put this nice long screw in here. And this one is the one that swivels. So it can move a little bit to make the hive square. This one then goes in the other end and we'll pre-drill it with two of them. It's going a little bit easier. Okay, and we'll put these screws in. Now the four inch screws are really long for this end, but rather than have two kinds, we like the four inch screw. For the swivel end, because it makes it really good and strong. So now we have our base assembled. Okay, now let's let's uh, install the electronics. Okay, so when you get your electronics. One thing I want to stress is to treat these wires carefully. Once they're installed, everything gets really good. But you can see at this end that they're glued in place and it's pretty good and strong, but you know, you can rip those apart. Uh, all of the ones we've had returned have just been either cut or uh, ripped apart. So treat them carefully and they will be fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is figure out where these go. And we can straighten this out. Whenever you're handling this wire, hold it with one and don't pull like this. Grab the wire and then you can, you can straighten it out. But you don't want to put stress on the connection to the sensors. Okay. And we want to put our sensors on one, two, three, four. Uh, it's not super critical because it'll work however you do it. But we'll do that. And then this one is number three. Let's get the wires all straightened out. Okay. This one's number three, goes up here, and number four back there. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll take our little load cell mounts. 
and we'll take our load cell mounts and they will go on just like this. Okay. And the load cells go in there like so. And then we'll run the wires there. So we'll speed up this part. But what I will say is we want to take and we want to pre-drill the holes for the little brass screws which are going to hold everything in place. Uh, so the one I used with the uh, big screws was an eighth of an inch and I think I'll use a sixteenth of an inch with this one. It's not super crucial but you don't want to drill it too big that the, the screws are loose. Okay, so we'll mount all these and we'll mount them about there. And when what you'll see me do is I'll put one screw in first. And you'll need a small screwdriver for this. And after you put one screw in, that will help you align for the other holes. And we want to take this where it's still a little bit loose. Because if you make it too tight, it will bend the load cell and change your calibration. Now I'll use this hole to line up that one. put it in okay just like that once again I take it down to where it's just touching then back it off a little bit okay and we'll do that on all 16 screws Okay, so once you have all those taken care of, we also want to mount the electronics box. So we can and you may want to do this part first. Uh, and one other comment I'll make is that I don't recommend using electric screwdriver for the brass screws. Uh, you really want to control them carefully. Now, come on. But for the bigger screws, it's fine. Okay, so all we want to do here is drop a screw in there, put it in, it's going to mount right here and you want to mount it so that the wires can go through the groove that you'll see here in a minute. So get that one nice and tight and then the other one and I plan to put this one in my apiary of adding a couple of beehives this year. Okay so once that's all done then we want to run the wires. And here again, I'm going to recommend that you treat them gently. Get it pushed into, into there. And then it will come through like this. This one will come through like that. Okay, then you take a piece of this spline and push it down into that groove and if your spine is a little bit loose you can add some staples to the outside to keep it from coming out and then let's cut this off and I'm going to go ahead and warn you again be gentle with the wires especially at the connection points okay then 
these two guys come up here. We can start this. Awful careful not to cut the wire. I got sort of close. Oh, look at that. I did it. Okay, so don't do that. I'm going to go ahead and build this. But I've just shown you what can happen. And we'll have to fix that. Okay. Dang it. And look what I did here. I pinched it under that. So here are some things that you got to be careful of, and we know things happen. But be gentle. Okay, now what you'll want to do is probably take this board out. And you can do that. You can see these two screws right here. To take this out so that I can bring the excess wire inside. That board should come out. And then, again, if you're gentle, you can pull the extra wire inside we have room in the box to put that and I'm going to stop right now and fix this okay well I repaired the wire that I broke so there's another word of caution you can see the little repair there uh, if you do break it find somebody who's good with a soldering iron and have them fix it uh, if you want you can send it back to us and we will fix it for you uh, no charge but we don't really want to replace we'll fix the one that you broke rather than send you a new one so the object lesson is there okay so we take these wires run them nicely now we put this last piece stuff here and clip off the excess. And this is just a screen door spline like you would use to replace a screen. I'm going to I'm going to put a couple of staples here just to hold everything in place. This is good and tight down there, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, now oh, put this wire. You want to be again gentle. This stuff is pretty durable, but if you are too cavalier with it, it will cause you trouble. And you can put these screws back. Okay. And if we were starting it, we would do that. But I'm not going to do that yet. Although you will want to on yours immediately start it up and check all four level sensors make sure they're working and that's it so that's how you assemble the scale let us know how it goes and good luck and remember every hive counts